All right, roll call. Bottles. Babs. Phil. Mikey G. Okay. We're gathered here today to tell some scary stories of me. Does anyone have any stories? I have a story. I have a story. Dick. The story of Sonic.exe. Starts off with a guy named Tom. He was a huge Sonic fan. Oh great, another fanboy. One fateful day, he was playing Sonic Unleashed when he decided to get the mail. He went to his mailbox and saw nothing but a CD and a note attached to it. He read the note. Tom, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late, and I was hoping you'd do it for me. He had enough time to write a fucking letter, but not enough time to break the goddamn disc in half? Look at the fucking time difference. Alright. Dear... Cock ass. Uh, uh. Sincerely. Uh. I can't do it. He's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you, too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it. Please. Kyle. Tom shrugged it off as weird. What kind of dick friend are you to adore the pleas of your friend? Tom looked at the disc, and written on it, in Sharpie, was Sonic.exe. Disregarding his dear friend's warning, he put the disc into his computer. True friend. He clicked on the file titled Sonic.exe and a window popped up. Tom was happy to see that it was the original Sonic the Hedgehog's title screen. He pushed start and for a split second, he saw something horrifying. In the split second before the title screen faded to black, the sky darkened. The title emblem turned rusted and ruined. Sega 1991 was changed to Sega 666. Ugh, more extra bullshit. The water turned red looking like hyper-realistic blood. Oh god, hyper-realism. The freakiest thing, though, was Sonic himself. Sonic's eyes were pitch black with glowing red pupils staring right back at Tom, and Sonic's smile was stretched all the way up his muzzle. Tom shrugged the horrifying image as a glitch and moved on. A glitch? It's that specific? Hey man, glitch is gonna be terrifying. Yeah man, but it can't be that specific. After about 10 seconds, the Sonic 3 file select screen showed up. Tom was surprised at seeing this, because the file select system was only in Sonic 3, not Sonic 1. Then he noticed something was off. The background was the dark, cloudy sky from the bad future Stardust Speedway in Sonic CD. There were only three save files. The music was the Caverns of Winter music from Earthbound played in reverse. The box that would usually show the pictures from your save file was just red static. What freaked him out more was the characters in the file select screen. Yes, yes, because the most terrifying thing in the world is a file select screen. I mean, hey, it's a cause of like two deaths a year. Serious, man. There was Tails, Knuckles, and to his surprise, Robotnik. Yeah, this is a glitch, alright. 
At this moment, he realized this was not a glitchy game, but a hacked game. Mm, we'll fucking die! As a smart gamer, no. he was not afraid of this hack. Shaking off the freaked out feeling, he continued to choose Tails. The screen froze for a couple of seconds. Then he heard the creepy Kefka laugh from Final Fantasy VI. The level title came up after 10 seconds of black and it said, Hill, Act 1. When the level title went away, Tails was standing in the green hill zone. Tom made Tails run forward, where there were no hills, enemies, or obstacles. After a few seconds of running, Tails came across an animal, except something was terribly wrong. The animal was on the ground, bleeding, dead. Tails started to look worried as he passed more and more animals. Some hung by their own intestines, some with their eyes gouged out, and some just lying there, disemboweled. Tom kept Tails going, even after seeing the horrible imagery. After a few minutes of running, Tom saw Sonic. Tails looked relieved and started walking towards Sonic, but Sonic just stayed there. As Tails grew closer, a staticky sound got louder and louder. Tom knew there was something wrong, and he wanted to yell at Tails to get out of there. What the hell, could you imagine some dumbass teenager or whatever yelling at their game while they play it? For a split second, Sonic opened his eyes and, just like the title screen, they were black with glowing red pupils. The screen cut to black and after a few seconds, a message came on the screen. Hello, do you want to play with me? What a pedal bear! Tom was taken to a different level titled Hide and Seek. Oh, uh, now we're playing games. Tails was now in the Angel Island zone, but on fire and the music was the arc theme from Sonic Adventure 2. Tails looked like he wanted to get out of where he was and fast. Tom made him trek through the burning forest and after a few seconds of running, he heard that laugh again as he saw the demonic Sonic flash across the screen. Tom then saw Sonic flying, literally flying, towards Tails as the music changed to the drowning theme from the classic Sonic games. Can't Tails just fly away normally? He flies all the fucking time, what's stopping him now? Maybe he has shit in his asshole! I don't know, I'm just telling the fucking story! No matter how much Tom made Tails run, Sonic would just gain on Tails. When Sonic got to Tails, he disappeared. Tails started crying. After a few seconds, Sonic appeared next to Tails, and, in a split second, lunged at him as a loud, blood-curdling scream came out of Tom's speakers. Tom wondered if Sonic murdered Tails. He couldn't have, right? Sonic and Tails are best friends, after all. Oh no, Sonic didn't kill Tails. They're just having a lovely D party in the Green Hill Zone. Hey Tails, how are you doing, Demon Sonic? I'm good, how about you? I'm fine. Hey, are you a glitch or a hack? Oh fuck no! Tails appeared in the TV screen in the file select screen with black fur, black bloody empty eyes. Tom was genuinely creeped out now, but despite his fear, he chose Knuckles. The game froze for a few seconds, then that laugh played again. How repetitive. The level title came up. You can't run. Tom couldn't tell if this was a glitch, hack, or a sick, twisted joke, but he played on. This level had the ground of the scrap brain zone. The sky background was the same as the file select menu and the music was the same as Gygus' theme from Earthbound. How cliche. Knuckles looked just as afraid as Tails did. Tom made Knuckles move regardless. He ran down, red static flickering as he ran, and he heard that terrifying laugh again. After a few more seconds of running, blood started to appear on the ground. Knuckles looked nauseated, just walking down the path, and Tom was growing increasingly more terrified of what was going to happen to Knuckles. It's just a fucking game. Sonic suddenly appeared in front of Knuckles as the screen turned black with a new message. Found you. The game went back to Knuckles, who looked very panicked. Sonic was nowhere to be found. The screeching from Silent Hill 1 final boss was heard. Sonic appeared behind Knuckles in a cloud of smoke. Tom made Knuckles turn around and punch Sonic but Sonic disappeared and reappeared behind Knuckles. Tom kept doing this same result every time. Keep trying, Tom! If you believe hard enough, it'll work! Eventually, Knuckles fell to his knees, 
grabbing his head, sobbing. Tom felt his pain. Sonic was driving Knuckles and Tom mad. Christ! It's a fucking game! In a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles, and the same loud, blood-curdling scream was heard as it cut to black. This game loves to cut to black. It should pay his electric bills. A message appeared. So many souls to play with. So little time. Do you agree? Tom was terrified at this point. Tom was brought back to the file select screen and he saw Knuckles in the TV screen. His fur turned into a reddish gray. His eyes and dreadlocks were dripping blood. And he looked... sad. Tom couldn't take it anymore. It's a goddamn motherfucking ass licking cockamamie game! Yo, 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 calm down, Phil, calm down. It's okay, honey. It's okay. He shut off the game and took a nap. Tom had a nightmare. He was in pitch black darkness, the only light source being a lamp from above. He heard the cries of Tails and Knuckles saying things like, help us, why did you give us to him? Their cries died out, as Sonic's laughter faded out. Tom heard, you're a lot of fun to play with, kid, just like your friend Kyle, but he didn't last long. Tom was looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long now until you join him and all of my other friends. Sonic came towards Tom, flickering as he moved closer. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now. He grabbed Tom, slowly smiling with that demonic grin, staring at him with those demonic eyes. Tom woke up with a fright. He went back to his computer and rebooted Sonic.exe. What a smart gamer. He chose Robotnik. The level titled appeared. Dot dot dot. Just an ellipsis. Robotnik was in a hallway. It seemed to be original. Not from any classic Sonic game. Well isn't that a breath of fresh air? It's not a level title from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3000. We got it right now guys! Robotnik looked a little paranoid. But Tom made him move anyway. Robotnik moved down a large flight of stairs. As he went down, the walls got darker and more reddish. Robotnik came to another staircase, this one longer than the first, taking a full minute to go down. That horrible laugh played again, and the walls turned gray and red as the flames on the torches turned black. Sonic appeared in front of Robotnik, and it cut to red static. The red static lasted for a few seconds, until a very terrifying image appeared. It was a picture of Sonic looking right at the screen. You were only able to see his face. His head looked hyper-realistic. <laughs> that word. It looked like if you touched the computer screen, you would feel his fur. He had the most horrifying smile Tom had ever seen. Eyes wide, crying blood. His grin as wide as the Cheshire Cat, with somewhat yellowish, sharp fangs, with stains of blood and pieces of flesh around his mouth. Tom stared at the gruesome image for what felt like an eternity. The screen flickered with red static three times, a slowed down, very distorted Kefka laugh. At least it's distorted this time. It went back to the same image, except there was text on it. The most horrifying line of text Tom has seen yet. I am God! Tom put it all together now. Sonic was a monster. Pure evil. Sadistic. All-powerful. Nightmarish. Demented. Monster. Everything has the point of this hack, dumb shit. All of his victims, Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and even Kyle, 
were just his little toys, and the game is the very gateway into the hell his victims are trapped in. At that moment, Sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth unnaturally agape, revealing nothing but a spiraling abyss before the red static came again. AGAIN FOR THE FIFTEENTH BILLIONTH GODDAMN TIME! Tom yelled and grabbed his ears for a few seconds as the red static screeched at an incredible volume. Then it stopped, and there was nothing but a black screen. One more message came up. Ready for round two? Tom got sent back to the file select screen. Robotnik was now in the TV. Dull gray skin. Mustache drooped. Blackened. Glasses broken, with blood dripping down them, and a dead-like expression on his face. Tom cried. He pitied the pain and agony Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik went through in this sick, twisted game. Again! It's a goddamn why am I yelling at you? The computer turned off, and stayed off. Tom couldn't get the game out. It was stuck. Tom sat down, relieved that it was all over. After a few seconds, he heard a whisper come from behind him. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. Tom turned around to see what the source of the voice was, and staring right at him was a sonic plush, with black eyes, with red pupils, bloodstains under its eyes. Fucking shit was that? And that's the story of Sonic.exe. What'd you guys think? Sucks.